Hello fans, Chad Jackson here in the Coach's Corner with the head men's and women's tennis coach, Simon Earnshaw. Hard to believe that the tennis season already halfway through the regular season and both the Pirates and the Lady Pirates still unbeaten on the season and ranked number one in the country. Coach Earnshaw, let's talk about the men first because if you look at the results, it looks like it's been a dominating start to the year, but there have been some tests in the early season. Yeah, I mean... Um... We don't want to make any comparisons to last year, but obviously we were uh, pretty clean uh, the majority of the season, and uh, for one reason or another, we've been able to maintain uh, at least that competitiveness. And uh, certainly, when we when we go out there, we're trying to play all nine points and play all nine points as hard as we can. And we've been fortunate uh, in several matches that you know a match that could have been a lot closer, maybe a five-four or six-three, we've been able to win. Uh, the uh, the close sets or let's say a couple of close doubles matches or we've just been able to play well at the right time and uh, that's been a little bit of a trend so far hopefully it can continue that way but uh, you know we're not going to count on uh, on hope or being lucky and we just we just take it one match at a time and uh, certainly with the schedule we've got coming up uh, I, don't, I think that would be a little little uh, not silly but would be a little uh, uh, optimistic <laughs> yeah I mean every, you know every match is different and you never know how things are, go are gonna go on a given day it's hopefully we can just keep executing as, as we're doing it seem to be in in good shape I mean physically you you obviously roll with punches and you go up and down and uh, and uh, that's a factor but you know that just means that other people have got to step up and uh, do their job for the team Armstrong women also similarly undefeated played some matches against some top 10 or top 15 ranked teams out west and was tested a little bit by some of those teams like Abilene Christian, like Hawaii Pacific. Talk a bit about the women's start to the season. Yeah, um, you know, we've, I, don't know if, I, I think we probably do, do ourselves a disservice and, and, and say we haven't played well. Certainly we've played very well uh, in, in, in certain spots and on, on any given day. Um, Definitely teams like Abilene and Hawaii Pacific are excellent teams and well coached and uh, came out there and gave us everything we could handle. I think the Abilene result's a little bit misleading when you look at it on, on paper. I know actually after the match, and the match took, I mean it seemed like it took four to five hours. And uh, when I was looking in the scorebook after, I was a little bit almost confused at, at how the actual scores looked because that certainly wasn't indicative of, of how competitive the match was. But uh, we've been pushed, and, and, and I think that's good to be pushed. We, we come back from our trip to Vegas and uh, certainly showed where we need work. And, uh, and you know, one worry is that um, with the format we play, with the doubles counting three points, that sometimes you don't get pushed into a third set, and you end up playing a lot of these ten-point tiebreakers. And um, that leaves a lot of unknowns, and, you know, I was happy that uh, we did make it. Uh, in, in several matches, particularly the Hawaii Pacific match, it was the same as the uh, quarterfinal of the NCAAs the year before, where it took a long time to get through those singles, and uh, definitely the girls responded in a, in, a, in a positive manner. It shows that our uh, conditioning and, and the things we're trying to do mentally with them to to, to help them survive or uh, get by in those types of situations are working, and uh, that that's good moving forward. and, and Certainly, it would be unreasonable to think that we're uh, not going to be tested, uh, especially not uh, shortly coming up this next weekend. Let's uh, talk about the upcoming schedule. You've got the road trip to Lynn and to Barry, and then you've got Auburn Montgomery coming in to home. That's three, you know, basically national championship caliber teams you're facing within a week's time. Yeah, and, and also we have Columbus um, right after that as well, which has been um, been probably the next next team in the conference the last few years. So yeah, I mean, you, you, we play Flagler tomorrow, hopefully, and um, hopefully that can you know, shake a bit of rust off after the break. And it's going to be very tough. I mean, going down to Miami and different conditions down there, it tends to be quite windy. Um, and Barry's having a great season with both of their programs. and. Uh, just hopefully we'll be able to put six players on the card and uh, continue to form 
as we have been doing, and, and let's just see what happens. I mean, I, I expect it to be extremely uh, competitive. Probably we'll face quite a bit of adversity, and uh, we'll see what our players are capable of under that type of pressure. Um, and then we have Lynn pretty much right away after, and it, I'm almost not, it doesn't make sense to think forward beyond, beyond uh, well, certainly you shouldn't think beyond the match against Flagler tomorrow, but, you know, I've barely even cast a thought to that. I mean, that's going to be tough also. Lynn's been there or thereabouts my whole career, and we've had some great matches with them through the years, not just with the women, but uh, definitely their men's team has been very strong since they won that national title. They were in the final and then they won the national title in 2006 and 2007. So we've definitely had quite a lot of emotional matches with them as well. So I'm expecting that it's going to take everything that we've got to get through this week and, uh, and probably more uh, on top of that. Armstrong hosts Flagler on Wednesday, 1 p.m. out of Bacon Park and then heads the road for Florida trip taking on nationally ranked Barry and Lynn on Friday and Sunday. Coach Earnshaw, good luck this week, and we'll talk to you again before the Peach Bowl tournament. Thanks.